recognize the depth of his knowledge. I can't even I can't even see that far or think that deep. And, I, and I'm not going to go into a long, long praise of this, brother. I'm going to let y'all do it when I call him up by your applause. His name is Brother Kaba Hiawatha, Hiawatha Kamene. Brother Kaba, are you in the house? My brother, right here, please. Let this brother know y'all love him. Please let y'all know y'all love him. This brother has taught me a lot. He used to have classes in my store, and when I closed up the store, he would give me a ride home, and the conversations we had in the car on the ride home just transformed me. Brother Kyle. understanding, uh, was always aware of my culture, but it was African-American culture. Booker T, Booker Taliaferro, Junior, father from Tuskegee. But I corrected my name from Booker T to Kaba Hiawatha the common name. We love you, Kaba. And I love you. I'm not going to spend much time now because I'm going to come back and really get into a conversation with you. But I just want to thank all of those who have received awards prior to myself. Thank you. For me to be in that company, it fulfills much of who I've always attempted to be throughout my entire life. For those of you who know, you know I'm in the street. You know I spend a great deal of time in the street. That's right. Because Professor Clark taught us that we as a people can achieve anything we want as long as we don't run out in the street and tell folks what we're doing. <laughs> and I've always taken that very seriously, so I've always maintained behind. Professor Clark always taught me to know the difference between people in powerful positions and people in positions of power. And he said, the more people know you, the less power you're going to have. Because they're going to start watching. The ancestors now have me coming before you more often than I did before. A couple years back, I participated in an event called The Gathering of the Masses. It was in Atlanta. And there's Dr. Jewel Pufram and Neely Fuller. And, I mean, all of the who would be perceived to be masters. But the real question and the real comment that we made is something that I'd like to leave with you before I step down. It was defined that the gathering of the masters was not the people who were about to present, not the Jewel Pukulis, not the Ashra Quasis, not the Booker T. Coleman's at that particular point in my life. Not the Neary Fullers, but it was the people who came who were the masses. So the gathering of the masses were not the people talking to the people, it was the people who came to hear because they were truly the masses. And with a lot of what we've heard today, I was just on 125th Street with Brother Sarnetta just a few weeks ago. We were doing some on 125th Street and Brother Nafika Hootie was there, and 
And about three weeks before that, it was Brother Polite. And I kept looking at Brother, and he kept looking at me, but I was off to the side because I wanted to absorb what Brother was saying. I didn't want to get too close because I wanted that vibration. You see, I know what facts have. It's called echolocation. And in other words, your vibrations, I need to stand a certain distance from you. That's why I'm sitting right where I'm sitting. Because I want to feel the vibrations, not just from the people who are speaking, but how you are receiving what it is that they're saying to you. And I have to tell you that I believe that we are in a better position today than we have ever been before. And as the brother was talking about someone's illusion, you know, we bought into somebody's illusion, and when you buy into someone's illusion, that illusion of someone else becomes your reality. And you start to live out that reality, and that's why Kuji Chagulia, the second day of Kwanzaa, is so important. Because it allows you to define for yourself, for ourselves, who we are. We say black power, but do we really understand what we mean when we say it? Black power. You are making a cosmic statement when you say black power. You're, you're, you're not talking about a complexion of skin because this really has a lot to do with ultraviolet rays. This really doesn't have too much to do with black power. That's why there is only one black. That's the perfect black, which is the Asar, which is the resurrection of, of life, of energy, of spirit. We are on the cusp of a new day, brother. <laughs> I just want you to understand this, and you know, not as an illusion. This is very real to me. This is a, this is a ordained time. That's why we're here. That's why we are gathered here today. To once again reaffirm our commitment. of the good news and bad news. Good news, Dr. King was right. We are going to get to the promise. It's bad news. Some of us have seen your man. That's right. And once we swallow that pill, like the brother said, once we swallow that pill, then we'll be able to do what needs to be done. Where I'm coming from, I count out of 100 black folk, I believe there are three ready to make that move. Some folk have told me I'm exaggerating. That's a shame. But that's a reality. But if there are 30 million of us, which I don't believe, they can't even count black folk in the Bronx. How are they going to count black folk in the Bronx? Bill Clinton was right. It is about arithmetic, which they don't do too good, but that's a whole other thing. Because I really do find, just by observing what we're seeing as it relates to this election, I really do believe, unfortunately, that people's, see, our enemy is not white people. Our enemy is ignorance. That's right. It just so happens that most white folk are very ignorant. Come on. That's the key. Because they're African people. Now, I know there's a lot of discussion as to who they are. Come on. And, and, and I'm ready to get down with the conversation, but I can't keep it scientific. But, uh, but I'm going to move around because I see things are happening here. <laughs> But I do appreciate this award. But my brothers and sisters, I accept this award for you. Because this award really, think of it as African. You see, black folk don't, from an African perspective, African people don't give other African people awards. They recognize the great work and love that black folk have for you. So if I didn't love you so much, I wouldn't be here getting this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. This is another way of looking at the world because we're into their paradigm of getting all these awards. I'm afraid of awards. Because awards sometimes make you think that you really are who this award tells you that you are. I am because you are. Just like what the brother said. I am because you are, since you are, therefore I am. This isn't mine. This is your ability to give yourselves an award for being so important that we come here to take this to tell you that this is yours. Because if it wasn't for you, I would not be doing what I'm doing. And if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I wouldn't be getting this award. 
Make sense to you? Yeah. I'm gonna come back. We gotta talk. Hotel. <laughs> House of Consciousness 13th Anniversary, September the 16th. Be there. Come and make history with your family. Professor James Smalls, A.A. Rashid, The Red Pill, The Blue Pill, Brother Polite, Salva Sutton, Sadie, Taj Tariq Bay, Nikki Love, Sister Nikki Love, Black Dot, King Simon, Raj Bay, Severe Bay, Minister Inky, Queen of Four, Bobby Hemet, Dr. Jewel Pukrum, Ashwa Kwesi, Dr. Ben, Richard King, Walter Williams, and Black and Nobel, Professor Griff, and much, much more. Honoring those who sacrificed their life to bring consciousness to the people. Be there for the award ceremony and a powerful, powerful, powerful panel discussion with the greatest minds of our day.